Does anyone know what machine gunning is? No. Tell us, Mr. Audio. The early drum machines, including Roger Lynn's LM-1 and the Lindrum, had great sounding samples that worked well in most situations. However, if the person programming a drum sequence wanted a fast series of snare hits, the result was that the decay of the previous snare was cut off as the next snare was played. This sounded very mechanical and nothing like the way a real snare drum would sound in that situation. The same thing happened on the first electronic drums. This phenomenon became known as machine gunning. As the technology for samplers improved, this issue was addressed, and most drum sequencer programs now allow samples to decay naturally, even if there's a fast series of the same instrument like a snare or tom being programmed. Also, as in a video game where there are multiple comments that can be played for a similar situation, most newer drum sequencers have multiple samples for each instrument so that each time the snare hit is programmed, it may be a slightly different sample, which eliminates machine gunning and adds to the realism of the sequence. Thanks, Mr. Audio. For more interesting facts about sound, visit Mr. Audio at soundimages.com.